I am back with another Golden Mate. This is either the second or third Golden Mate battery I've had. This one's pretty no frills on the outside, but this is really tough plastic. Like there's no flex in this. This thing is rugged. I really, really like that. It has a very, I don't know, survive the apocalypse kind of feel to it. This is a 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour battery. You know, they recommend this stuff for like RVs, marine use, solar, trolling motors, off-grid setups. Now this won't start a golf cart. This won't start a lawn tractor. What I use these for is amateur radio. Not so much anymore because out here I can't hit any repeaters or anything. But if there was ever, you know, a grid down situation, I could use this to power my amateur radio equipment. I also do some solar experiments with it that I have coming next spring. So this one does have Bluetooth monitoring. Grab my phone. You can see if we'd focus. It's pretty, pretty basic. Uh, my biggest complaint about this is it is not in the app store and you have to go to some website that has Chinese characters and download it. It takes you to this when you scan the QR code on their website. And yeah, I don't know what that says. It also, you're side loading and just get it in the app store guys. You know, it shows right now the battery's at about 62% capacity. We'll plug it in here in a second and take a look at it charging. It says it has about 754 watt hours and that's about it. It shows some temperatures and stuff. So I'm gonna set that there and we'll go ahead and plug the battery in for a second and let it charge. I'm just using a uh, 20 amp charger here. Yeah, so there it sees, you know, 19.95 amps. You know, it's gonna go a little bit over, but not, not a big deal. It's well within tolerance. And then it's gonna say, you know, about two hours left to charge and it'll show us the temperatures and everything. So I do like when they have the apps. I just wish it was in the app store. It used to be in the app store because I remember downloading it from the app store with the last battery. I think it was that green one that had the nice satisfying handles about two years ago, three years ago. And it was there, there, or it was then, it was there then. So I don't know, but the app is pretty user friendly. You know, you come in here, you find the battery. Same problem though with everyone uses this app and just reskins it. It'll see every Bluetooth device, and there's no indication it wants the battery. It did have the battery icon for this, but it took like four or five attempts to connect, so I wasn't sure. But then it just shows that, and that's pretty standard. And that's not just with these batteries. I've seen people using this app with power stations and stuff, so it just seems like some off-the-shelf thing that they can just grab real fast. And you know, It'd be nice if they had their own little app, but whatever. It does have IP67 waterproof rating. Uh, this thing has no real appreciable seams because it does have that waterproof rating. Like you could use this for your trolling motor in like a kayak or small boat or whatever, or even outdoor solar setups. Obviously, if you can try to keep it away from water because waterproof rating is only good for, you know, a set amount of time. And I did look at some reviews of this and someone was using it in a hot desert environment and they were getting pretty good results with it. I happen to live in a desert environment on the Navajo reservation. Uh, although now the high is like 70 every day and the lows in the 40s because it's fall. But I look forward to seeing how that works come spring and summer, especially with it being black. It does have a 100 amp BMS built in, which will protect against overcharge, over discharge, over current and short circuits. Pretty standard in all these things. Has a low temperature charging cutoff. Some people reported that they could program the BMS with third party apps. Uh, that's way above me. I don't know about that. Your mileage may vary, but I would not suggest you do that. I would leave that to the battery manufacturer to do. This can do up to a 50 amp charge current. The highest charge I have is about 40 amps. I prefer to charge at 20 amps on these 100 amp hour batteries because it just extends the lifespan of the battery because it keeps it from getting too hot. It is compatible with, you know, lithium iron phosphate chargers like this one, MPPT solar controllers, weighs 29.3 pounds and has a max continuous discharge of 100 amps. I would never discharge the battery anywhere near that fast because you want to draw somewhat slower so you're not doing a lot of heat because it will extend the lifespan of the battery. As far as lifespan, a few years ago, everyone would say you get about 3,000 cycles before you'd start to see any uh, significant degradation. Now they're starting to say 5,000. 
those are under ideal conditions. So I would assume, you know, 2000 to 5000 somewhere in there, depending on how you handle it, which if you're discharging it every day, that is several years and there's probably going to be a better technology by then anyway. So I don't worry too much about that three to 5,000 figure. I'm not even discharging these things every day. So realistically, I've got, you know, 15, 20 years in these. There's going to be a new technology by then. But yeah, that's just this golden mate. I really do like it. I, I just, this is the toughest battery. There's a little bit of flex there if I really hit it, but that top is rock solid. And I'm guessing, tilt it here, maybe. It looks like you can probably stack these. There's a little like registration that'll go onto these. And I bet you could stack a few of these pretty snugly. I don't think it would go this deep because it doesn't feel that deep, but like I would not worry about the weight of two or three of these stacked. Anyway, 